वेलकम अगेन वील बी कवरिंग द नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन फॉर द नेट पेपर थ्री डिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन नाउ द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हियर आस अबाउट स्ट्रॉन्ग रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन एनवायरमेंट इमेज एंड डिसीजन मेकिंग वेन वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट बिहेवियरिज्म इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव एक्सप्लेन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कॉग्नेटिव बिहेवियरिज्म एंड अंडर कॉग्नेटिव बिहेवियरिज्म वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिसीजन मेकिंग पावर ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एनवायरमेंट एंड द मेंटल इमेजिंग so the correct answer here would be behaviorism and behaviorism is also known as behavioralism so two would be the correct choice next question who are considered as the founder of mathematical geography so the mathematical geography father uh, are considered or uh, founders are considered as thales of miletus and anaximander anaximander also gave an instrument which was known as gnomon so the correct answer here would be two now these are some of the questions from the section of geographical thought that are based on direct information who wrote the book meteorologica aristotle was the person who wrote the book meteorologica and he explained the various weather phenomena and the various phenomena on the earth the next is who laid the foundation for modern geographical thought modern geographical thought was laid by humboldt and ritter humboldt gave the concept of systematic geography or i could say rather physical geography in contrast Reader gave the concept of uh, uh, regional geography or human geography. So you have one as the correct option. Next is now there are three statements given about Redzel. Redzel was a follower, or I could say, highly influenced by Darwin's theory of evolution. He wrote a book, Anthropoge uh, Anthropogeography, and he coined the term anthropogeography, and he was. Uh, a famous german geographer of 19th century so all the three statements are correct so i can say one would be the correct answer here next question the correct uh, chronology of the greek contributors so first of all you have thales and anaximander as we mentioned who uh, anaximander gave the instrument gnomon then you have aristotle who gave the spherical shape of the earth then then came eratosthenes who talked about the circumference of the earth and finally you have ptolemy who gave his details in the book almagest uh, ptolemy was inspired by the work of strabo so the correct answer would be 3 next question now this question asks about the concept that describes absence of cities within the radius of 75 km from a large town now this is a kind of uh, tricky question i could say because when we talk about urban area you have the concept of decentralization and that decentralization leads to growth in the peripheral region and that is known as urban dispersal so if we understand by that concept we can say the answer the closest answer here could be urban dispersal but when we understand urban dispersal there is nowhere mentioned that there should be absence of cities within a radius of 75 km that's one thing to note here The next is let's understand the remaining terms. Urban shadow is you have the city, and you have the countryside. So what happens? The urban shadow, or the urban influence, moves on to the countryside region. As a result, you will find changes in the lifestyle pattern, the uh, the living patterns, and the amenities in the countryside region. So that's what is urban shadow. Then you have urban agglomeration. I could say this is a chain of urban centers. and finally you have urban clusters and urban cluster by definition means presence of cities and towns within a radius of 75 km from a large city so if this question was presence the correct answer would have been urban clusters since it talks about absence the only nearest match here can be urban dispersal next question how do you define physiological density now density and the population geography we have covered there are three types of density measures the first is the arithmetic density that's total population by total land area the next is physiological density that says total population by total arable land okay so the ratio between total population and the uh, arable land total cultivated area i could say would be the correct answer for physiological density and the third is the agricultural density and in the agricultural density we say total rural population divided by total cultivable area or total arable land 
So that is what is agricultural density. So this is the definition for agricultural density. This is the de definition for arithmetic density. And this is what is for physiological density. Next question. Now this is directly a question about the, the demography. So you have around 16% of the people as per 2014 who reside in the continent of Africa. The correct answer would be 15.96 and the closest match is 16. Next, the triangular pattern of settlement can be found between where there is confluence of two rivers, what would happen? There would be a kind of triangular settlement in this region. So the correct answer would be confluence of the rivers. The next is which of the following technique would you consider as an estimation for population, uh, estimation of requirement of population in an area for planning allocation. So if I'm, if I'm doing planning of a region, what would be my primary concern? My primary concern would be to develop an area in such a way that it would meet the requirement of future generations. So my planning would definitely involve population projections. It has nothing to do with the rank size rule, so it's gone. Carrying capacity talks about limits to growth, so it, it, cannot, it cannot be again the correct option. And here we are not analyzing the cost and the benefit. So the correct closest match would be population projection. Next question. Lorentz curve by definition means, I could say, accumulative percentage of population against the cumulative percentage of an area uh, is the method which is explained by or uh, this is how we explain density by Lorentz curve. Next is density of population is highest in which of the following states. So Bihar is the state with highest population density and in contrast to Bihar you have Arunachal Pradesh which has the lowest density of say 17 persons per square kilometer where Bihar has 1106 persons per square kilometer. Next you have a kind of matrix and you have to find the linkages. So the best way to understand is 1 is linked with 2, 7 and 8. Okay. And I write 5 is linked with. So I am taking this center and this center. So 5 is linked with 3, 4 and 6. And finally you have 6 which is linked by 5 and 8 and 7. So with these 3 information I have the choices here. If I relate 1 with 2, 7 and 8. So 1 with 2, 7 and 8. That's correct. Then 5 with 5 with 3, 4 and 6. That's again correct. And finally 6 with 5, 8 and 7. So 5, 7 and 8. So in other choices, this do not follow. So the correct answer would be this. Next. Which of the following industrial region of India is known as the Ruhr of India? Ruhr is an industrial region in Germany. Chota Nagpur Plateau or uh, Chota Nagpur industrial area in India is compared to Ruhr of India or called Ruhr of India because it has Damodar Valley that brings a lot of coal and you have the region of Bihar and Odisha which is rich in iron. So it's a center for coal and iron so most of the industrial uh, industries can be seen here. So the answer would be 2. Next, you have to match the major industries uh, like the industries and the activity. So a major industry would be a petroleum refining industry. Lock manufacturing I can say is a small scale industry. Cottage industry or home based industry would be a kind of embroidery industry and footloose industry that does not count upon uh, the region where it is located, it can move anywhere freely. So that would be information technology because you are not utilizing resource of any specific location. So footloose would be information technology. So these are the correct match for this question. Next, which of the following island is known as the rice bowl of Japan? Now Japan, Hokkaido is the biggest producer of uh, rice I could say, but uh, Shanghai on the Sea of Japan. So you have four islands of Japan. One is Hokkaido, Honshu, Kyushu and Shikuku. So Shonai on the, towards the Sea of Japan on the one of the biggest islands that's Honshu is known as the most fertile granaries of Japan. So the correct answer here would be two that is Honshu. Next 
You have the diagram about innovation and this diagram was laid forward by E.M. Rogers. He explained the five-fold division for the adopters based on the time lag. So he called uh, these people as early adopters and these were late adopters. So you have the legards and the innovators on the extremes. So this was the diagram or the diffusion mo model that, that was given by E.M. Rogers. Again a very direct question. Next you have to match the various theories with the relevant persons. So you have uh, Ricardo gave the rent theory. Then you have Weaver who gave the crop combination model. So you have C with 1 and D with 3. So you have sorry D with 2. So the only match is 2 here. So even if you are aware of just few of the theories you can check out the remaining theories. Next, Sojberg gave the concept of pre-industrial city past and present in his book and he divided city into two. One was the pre-industrial city and the next was the industrial city. So the answer is Sojberg. The next is the various tribes and the region where they are found. Now some of these are very obvious. So you have the tribe of Mongolite which is commonly found in China, North Korea and South Korea. So I can go one with two. Then you have the Caucasoids, the tall race that is found in Germany. You have the Australoids that is found in Sri Lanka or the region close to Australia I could say. And Negroids finally from Africa so you have Ethiopia. Which of the following waterway has more politico-economic significance? Now among these, the best answer would be Suez Canal. So Suez Canal provides a route of connecting Europe with the Asian country rather than moving around whole of the Africa. It provides a direct pass to the region of Asia, reduces distance and has a huge lot of political significance as well. So the correct answer would be Suez Canal. Next. This is a question that is willingly given to confuse. Now, Mackinder was a person who worked with political aspects of geography. So some of the people confused him with a person from political science. Again, some of the people confused him with economics because he was one of the founder members of London School of Economics. It's very important. But under London School of Economics, he founded the Department of Geography and by nature he was a uh, person or an eminent geographer. So the correct answer here would be 3, that's geography. Next, to control pollution from the ship and offshore platform, which of the following rules or provisions have been launched in India? So the correct answer here would be Merchant Shipping Act. Merchant Shipping Act was meant to reduce or control pollution from ships and the offshore platforms or the offshore mining areas. Indian Port Act talked about the port charges and the regulations at port. Maritime Zone Act talked about the territorial water, the exclusive economic zones and so on. So here the answer would be B. Next, finally, which of the following is not correctly matched? Inuits are the tribes from Canada, you are geese from Siberia, both, both of them uh, both of them are tundra tribes I could say located in the tundra belt. But why is the tribe also known as Ta in Congo Basin and finally Ruwala tribe is found in Northwest Saudi Arabia. I could say Syria as well as Jordan. Now this is in news due to the recent disturbances in Syria and Jordan. Ruwala tribe has been in a lot of uh, current affairs news as well. So this was an important question even from the point of view of current affairs. So with this we covered the 50 questions, we will be covering the last set in the following lecture. You can stay tuned. Have a good day ahead.